Hi guys, it's Danny from Art by Marlene's promo team for 2020. This is my first video for 2020. So today I'm doing some paint brushes. I've decided to make them into little art dolls that I can hang in my studio. So I've just bought some little pastry brushes. These are from the local supermarket and I'm giving them a really good coat of acrylic paint. Just giving them two coats just to make sure I've got good coverage over all the brushes and I've decided to paint them each a different colour. I've just dried them in between each layer. And I'm just holding onto the bristles because they're actually made of nylon so I didn't want to melt those when I was using my heat gun. So now I'm just using some of Art by Marlene's stencils. This one's called Blooming Garden. And I'm just using a makeup applicator sponge to just get some um, small details onto the handle. You have to be quite patient, just sort of moving that stencil around just because it is a small area that we're stenciling on. And I'm using similar paint tones with the color of the actual handle. So just green on green, pink on pink, blue on blue, basically. Just getting a little bit of details on the handle so that they've got a little bit of visual interest. And I've just selected sort of small designs from the stencils themselves. Um, nothing too large that doesn't show up too much detail on the handle. The other stencil I've used in this collection was the Mini Dutch Spring. This is a Mini Dutch Spring here. got some cute little designs on there. I really like these two stencils. I'm just making sure that I've got them nice and dry. I'm using some archival ink now and I'm using Art by Marlene stamp sets. I'm going to use the stamp set number 38 and 37. I'm just basically using the background stamps that are included in these cling stamps and I'm just stamping randomly all over in archival inks and again just using similar colors to the actual handle so they're kind of a subtle texture on there not too overpowering and I'm not using a block here this just sort of helps to mold the stamp around the handle so that I can get a nice even stamp coverage And then of course I'm using black archival as a bit of contrast. I've decided that I wanted to add some paint to the bristles. So I'm again just using the same colour that I've painted on the handle and I'm just layering some paint onto the bristles and letting that dry. I'm not going to use the heat tool here because I might melt the, the nylon bristles. Here I'm using some of the dies from the die blocks. I've just selected a couple out and I'm using a little bit of chipboard just to stiffen them a bit more. Because the handles are sort of tapered, I needed a little bit of packing behind them. So I've just cut a little, little pieces of the chipboard behind and I'm collaging them on the dies onto the chipboard so that I've got sort of an average um, position to, to glue them onto the handle so that they sit nice and flush. So I've just selected a couple of heads from the die blocks and I've made these little oval shapes out of the chipboard for their body. I'm going to use some collage papers. I've just grabbed a couple of scrap pieces and I'm going to collage them onto the little bodies that I've cut out on the chipboard. making sure I've got really good coverage with that collage glue. And 
And once they're dry, I'm just using a sanding block to get them right nice and even around the edges. And now I'm just selecting the heads onto the bodies and gluing those on as well. So now it's deciding on which doll for which brush. So I'm just placing them on, seeing which ones I like better. Decided to put the blue hair onto the pink so that it was a contrast on the handle. And because those little dolls were a little bit smaller, I've decided to paint the black plastic that holds the bristles together. So I'm just giving them a quick coat, two coats of paint. And I didn't need to do that on the green because the body was much bigger. Now I'm using Art by Marlene's rice papers here. I'm just selecting a couple of butterflies and I'm going to stick them onto some watercolour paper. This is Art by Marlene's watercolour paper. Just collaging them down and then once they're dry I'll cut them, fussy cut them out. It's just to strengthen them so that I can use them for wings behind my art dolls. So once everything's dry here, I'm going back over with my paint markers and I'm just doing a little bit of mark making. So again, just personalising the paint brushes and giving them a little bit more of a touch of my own artwork just by making some marks on there. So I've just used a black paint pen and then the same colour paint pens with the handles, so green on green, blue on blue, etc. I'm just edging the dolls with a bit of archival ink. so that there's no nasty brown paper showing or any white surface left. And now I'm just edging the paintbrushes too with the archival. Now that my butterflies are nice and dry, I'm just going to cut those out and then Select the butterfly wings for each doll. So now it's just attaching the dolls to the actual brush. So I'm using the collage glue again, just quite liberally on the back of the chipboard and gluing those down onto the handle. Again, just using some archival ink to go around the edges of the butterfly wings. 
just so I'm covering that white watercolour cardstock. Just going around that butterfly wing there, I forgot to ink that one when I first attached it. So I've just selected a few more pieces, elements of rice paper and my video stopped. So you can see that I've added a few little elements there, the rose onto the green brush onto her chest. I've added little birds on the little blue handled and a heart and hearts on the pink brush, just other little elements from the die cutting books as well. So now I'm just going back over with my paint pens and just doodling over the top of all these little elements that I've collaged on. Down the bottom there in the right hand corner you can see some words and I've actually used the rice papers. These are from the butterfly winged rice papers and I've glued them onto the watercolour cardstock as well. So I've collaged them on and I'm going to use them to stick onto the doll. So just doodling over the bits and pieces on the dolls again, just to make them my own. Make things pop on there. Highlighting with the white pen as well. And I'm just edging those words now. So this is the old sticker book and I've grabbed a couple of stickers from that sticker book there and I'm using them on the other two brushes. Unfortunately these are not able to get them anymore but Marlene has brought out a new sticker book which is coming in her series 5 which will be out in February. So I'm a bit excited about those because I love those little stickers. So the wording on there is make your own magic. I am an artist. and get your art on, I think was the last one. Again, just edging little stickers and that's the finished little dolls. They've come up really awesome, I'm quite happy with them. So hopefully you get a chance to make your own little art doll paintbrushes. And if you do, please leave a comment and show us what you've done. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Thanks for watching.